Welcome to this short flight simulator tutorial for the Oculus Quest and pretty much any other VR headset. I will show you all the code necessary to achieve flight from inside an airplane or spaceship. There is a lot you can tweak and change to your preferences, but everything will work out of the box so you can start creating your flying game ASAP. If you easily get motion sick. This is not the game for you. Check out one of my other tutorials instead. I have made this whole simulator very light so that it will be easy for you to copy. All I have in my scene is the aircraft and some terrain. I will not show you how to create terrain here since it is not relevant and also very easy. Google it if you are interested. I have nested the OVR camera rig as a child of my aircraft and positioned it inside the cockpit. I have not done any other changes to the camera rig. I have packed all the functionality into one script so that it will be easy to show you. However if you choose to extend on this build to make a game. I suggest you start breaking it up into smaller pieces. It's a good coding practice to make one class handle only one specific thing. It will make your code easier to debug and maintain. Let's begin from the top. If you have any issues to make this work you can download my source code at patreon.com. Link in the description. These first fields is to help navigate the angles. The rotation values you see in the inspector does not map to the angles you have inside Visual Studio. The values in the inspector are made more human readable. I have made these three visible inside the inspector so that we can easily test and see what values we are working with. These two fields are the barrel location and the ammo you want to shoot. I have not added these in this build but it's all ready to be plugged in. If you don't know how, I have a simple and short tutorial called how to create a ray gun from scratch. These fields are the booleans to keep track of the user actions. Next we have the default speed and turn speed. These two are made public so that you can access them and modify them inside the inspector as well. Then we have the timer for the distance between the bullets you fire. And the speed of the bullets. In the update function we call all the functions that has the logic for our simulator. In check collision with terrain we constantly check if the terrain right under the aircraft is higher than the plane. If so we set the plane height to the same as the terrain so that is cannot fly below the terrain. Here you could add explosions or whatever you feel like. The forward movement function handles the forward movement of the aircraft. The code that is commented out is a gravity like effect. If the aircraft is climbing it will lose speed. If it's diving it will pick up speed. Just uncomment it to use it. The get angles function keeps our angles updated at every frame. The shoot function fires a bullet and then destroys the bullet after 5 seconds. It also resets the timer after each shot so that they do not fire too close to each other. I created the stabilize function since I got motion sick when the aircraft was upside down. This function makes it so that the airplane cannot tilt more than 90 degrees to the right or left. It also has the added functionality of tilting the aircraft downwards if the user keeps trying to turn over the max limit. If you don't want that, just remove these lines. Then comes the turn function. It handles the steering of the plane. It handles the steering by tilting the correct axis of the plane. The Z axis for right and left turning. 
the x-axis for climbing and diving. The climb condition has some additional functionality. Firstly I have created these booleans that check whether certain conditions are met. So if the z-angle is below 92 and the z-axis is above 69 that means that we are tilting hard to the left and if the user now tilts the aircraft backward the aircraft will not gain any height but make a sharp turn instead. If however the plane Z angle is less than 69 and more than 49 that means we are tilting a little less and the turn will not be as sharp and some lift will be applied. If the tilt of the aircraft is even less, then the lift will be greater and the turn will be less. The exact same are applied to the right turn. It gives us this effect. And that's almost it. Only two simple functions left. These are the ones that keep track of the user actions. If the user pushes left on the joystick in this case the turn left will be true and the aircraft will turn. When the joystick is released it will be false and the aircraft stop turning. You can easily change so that the user is using the tilt of the controller or headset to do the turning. Thank you for watching. If you want to support me or have access to all my source code please consider supporting me on patreon.com. Link in the description. Like and subscribe.